We're finally getting into the best part of day live, the Kurumi arc. Apparently, people have been saying that this is one of the most anticipated, the best arc in the light novel. I don't know. I think people are just saying that because there's a lot of Kurumi simps. I am a Kurumi simp, though. I'm just glad that she's back. What's her excuse for going away from school for like two seasons? And the teacher's like, oh, just welcome back. Fuck it, let's go. Oh, that jazz, man. Hello. Says you, you got girls and guys all over your desk. <laughs> yeah, remember in season one when you try to kill the entire school for fucking for powers? She's helped out a lot. I could have just done it already. Yeah, she could just do it. Zaf kill and everyone's just fucking. We're back to season one rooftop. Which honestly, I'd be down for. But that arc was hype. The fact that I haven't killed you yet is proof. <laughs> okay, sure, Kurumi. <laughs> The logic makes sense, I guess. I can't imagine Kurumi showing up to a welcome party at our place. Like, we still haven't kissed her yet, man. Oh. But, but... Huh? Of course, of course there's always a catch. What is it? Not tell you! <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Alright, whatever. It's not like anyone understands. Oh. EM headquarters. What is that, like nine spirits that we have? Ten? Ten, including everybody? Is that including Kurumi? Maybe Westcott wanted this to happen? Of course it is. It's the kind of saying like, if you're trying to find shit, let your opponents find everything for, and then just steal it at the end. You know, that's way easier. My man is spamming the shit out of Beelzebub, man. I can't even tell him use some different power because he doesn't have any different power. Itsuka Shido has the key to make the spirits invert. Maybe he could make Shido say a bunch of mean things to all the spirits and they would all get traumatic, you know, tra just trauma and then invert of that? Uh, a helper? It can't be Kudumi, right? There's no way Kudumi is teaming up, right? Ah. Uh. First time seeing her. She a spirit? Nibelkor, the daughters of my demon king, Bilzy. She just made them with Bilzy Bob. Yeah. Nah, we probably have to do it by ourselves. Kudumi's not that dangerous. So Chuni. How could we ever seal her if we don't do that? Exactly. Also be embarrassing for all the girls to see us kissing her. She even in this form without an ass. The girls are of course gonna fucking eavesdrop. But you know how Kurumi always does a little, little what's it called, lift her skirt before you know uh, doing a bow. As he? I don't know if he's really changed that much. I don't know. You must kill the origin spirit with my power. Uh-huh. Oh. oh. Wait. But, wait, 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 wait. I mean... No, 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 no. The daughters of Bilzy but wasn't there yet, right? His head might be already cut. Mana? Oh. I haven't seen her in a long time. I don't know. Mana sometimes just exists to fend off Ellen at times. <laughs> oh, I mean, she's already so old. You leave her alone. She looks great for her age. Big chance to get on Shido, but I feel like Shido's head already got cut off somehow. Oh, it's the Billsy Bub's uh, daughters again. That's how they activate? Just a bunch of papers and you fucking... The cross is upside down. Isn't that like the Antichrist? How strong are they? That's a hard name to say. Nibelko. Nibelko. Kurumi. Kurumi. What? what? What's going on? Okay. Y'all got clones. You know, Kurumi got clones too. Damn. Couldn't be offering mana backup after season one shit? Says you! Yeah. The self aware jokes? Look at her disrespect mana even right now. Oh my god, you didn't have to say that! Mana, you struggling? 
It hurts me to sit with someone as weak as you struggle. Yo, this might be just free for all at this point. Yeah, you need help. Come on. Not sure how strong Mana is now, but can she? Yo, what happened? So Kurumi's clones are out there fighting, but this Kurumi... What happened there? There was some kind of weird red light? Also interesting, I thought that every Kurumi had to be in the astral dress if you're already in astral dress. What about like a kiss but Kurumi takes all of Shido's powers? Or maybe Shido could do what Kurumi can't then, you know, we have the 11th spirit, we start and then we use all that energy, then we use your bet, go fucking meet the origin spirit. <laughs> a tone? <laughs> Would she ever be down for that? Hmm. Can't we make a compromise? Yeah. One of them, but whose dream is that? Probably Kurumi's. One of us loses everything. And in this context? <laughs> I think it might be Kurumi that loses everything. I'm not sure why I feel that way. Huh. Why so cooperative all of a sudden, though? <laughs> how do you even how do you even do that test? How do you even test that? We just go on more dates. I'm down. But if you fall in love, and how does one determine that? I don't know. And what do you mean by devour? Like, what do you actually mean by devour? You're not gonna actually eat him, right? Yeah. Like, how, why would we ever do that? <laughs> this is dangerous, dude. This is fucking dangerous. Also, I thought all the girls were eavesdropping. They're not anymore. I mean, we made the other Kunami head over heels, right? Remember? In the OVA? I mean, this Kunami also has the same hairstyle. I'm not sure if this is the same Kunami that we made in the OVA. Damn. What a Giga Chad line. Okay. Oh, shit. Here we go. Yo, we're resuming a date since season one. Why, Kotori? Why? We're just doing our job. Are you jealous? Well, she said devour. Maybe she'll actually eat us, but... I know you had no choice. That's why I'm still gonna punch you in the fucking stomach. <laughs> oh, she's just worried for Big Bro, right? That's how much she cares. Huh? So you want to punch her back? Wait. No, I'm not gonna punch you like how you aggressively punch us. That'd be kind of funny though. That'd be actually hilarious. Fucking <laughs> That's more like it. Can you imagine if you actually punched her right in the stomach, bro? We haven't done this since like, maybe even like episode one, season one, man. Hey, yo, what the fuck is this scene? <laughs> Without context, bro. <laughs> What's going on here? That face. Strategy meeting about about what? Uh, no, it's not what it looks like. Oh, that that looks like what it looks like. No, no, no. We're we're not, we're, we're we're not blood related. What do you do? Oh, Rain is here too. Nothing. Just tickled her until it looked like she was at the end of a fucking hentai plot, bro. It's not like you know. Kotori had all the fight. Fucking Miku, man. Origami, don't do it. No, bro. This is why she's the funniest, bro. This is why she might be the best girl. Like, this, she brought fucking papers for legal brother becoming documentation. I thought the whole point was to get enough spirit power to use Yodbet, which is so, so power intensive, and then go back to the past and then kill the origin spirit. But Nia should know because Nia told Kurumi that, you know, that you can't kill the origin spirit as is. Rainy fucking again. Every time, bro. No expression. But it's so sus. She probably knows so much. Bro, she might as well be the origin spirit. Like, what are you doing here, Rainy? Dude, what if Reine is the origin spirit? Holy fuck, wouldn't that be crazy? Wouldn't that be insane, bro? I mean, Reine is kind of older too, right? Compared to the other girls. Wait, 
I've never looked at Rainey's eyes. Does it have? No, it doesn't have a white dot. It's got. She's got black, you know, pupils or whatever. Huh. I thought that's a very good point. I never really questioned that because I thought she just shows up to prevent. Could have been new. How does she know? Uh, does she have some clones as spies in the PEM facility? Does it have something to do with Artemis, maybe? Damn. They don't realize that the sisterhood and relationship here would be more like... Kotori is like the big sister, huh? I don't know. And also, what was with that moment of red light when Kurumi was talking to Shido? Maybe Artemis leaked the plans? Was Artemis even there? I don't think she was. No, she was there. I forget. Yeah, she was there. Yeah, what was this moment, though? No, it's not nothing. What the fuck was that? Kurumi. You were just waiting here the entire day? Oh, okay. It's time for our date. Oh, sorry, it's a school day. Oh, damn. We're walking to school together? What? Hmm? Is it the special spot that he takes Toka to? You know, our special spot where the view is nice? Oh. Oh, this is really... <gasps> she loves cats? I mean, the first episode... She, I mean, she like pretty much saved the cat for being like tortured, right? I've never seen Kumi get shaken up like this though. Holy fuck. What? She loves him. Oh, I've never seen Kumi backed up like this. What? Hello. Oh, rejected! Kumi rejected! Oh, that's kind of sad. That's actually really sad and funny at the same time. <laughs> Oh, that's sad. Look at this one. It's so cute. It's looking at you. Hmm? Oh, mm? <laughs> We're, not the cat. We're not the cat here, but... Uh, maybe we do like it. Maybe we do like it. Oh my... Bro! Like in front of the cat? In front of the cat, bro? This fucking guy. I don't blame him, though. I can't believe bro actually got on all fours and started with Nia with the hand paws there, but do you blame him? Do you blame him? If you had a shower Kurumi like that, wouldn't you do it? I have already been fucking meowing. I'm just, everything I would have said ended up with the Nia. Now, what was going on on the rooftop when Shido was talking to Kurumi? Everything had like a little red tint, and then I thought his head was cut off or something. But no, that had nothing to do with it. In fact, he's fine now. What I'm confused about is how, like, also, another thing is the astral dress. You know how Kurumi in the rooftop was in the school uniform? I thought all Kurumis either has to be in the astral dress or they're not. I guess it doesn't really matter. You know, the clone army went to basically help out Mana. How does she know that Ellen was coming? Is it as really simple as, oh, she had her clones so they got a lot of intel? But I feel like that's just not a, a sound enough proof yet, right? Even the way that Mana phrased it was very off. And Rene, again, the fuck did she know? everything but she won't tell us this is some end game plot territory and she's never gonna say anything she's just gonna stand there looking like she knows everything but she won't tell us shit bro again what if she is the origin spirit wouldn't that be insane because the origin spirit is supposed to be like older right it's been 30 years ago but i'm not sure if the origin spirit's still alive in fact isn't the whole point of using yod bet to kill the origin spirit from the past so that the death of 150 million people never happened i forget exactly where it's going on maybe the origin spirit's still alive no clue. All I know is that Elliot fell in love with her. This seems to have triggered everything from the start. And what is Shido at the end of the day? Science lab baby made by Elliot and Isaac? Or just a cat fucking purring for Kurumi because he's so damn bad. Who knows? But hey, if you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.